Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do like another little project that was in the Simply Lettering magazine. I had showed it to you guys before. It's a new calligraphy or like a hand lettering magazine and they have tons and tons of like ideas inside of here. Um, by the way, also do not mind my voice. I have been sick for like the past week and my voice has taken the hit now. Um, from you know my throat hurting and all the coughing and everything but I hope you guys are still able to like watch this video even with my voice if not then just mute it and keep watching but anyway so this is a new um, calligraphy hand lettering magazine they have tons of they have tons of ideas of things and projects that you could create in here Today I'm going to, oh, this is one I created last time, so I will have that link down below for that video. I did today's the perfect day to be happy. And here is my project from that, which I showed you guys. I think it turned out so good, so I will have a link to that video down below. Um, today I'm gonna do another project in here. It's not necessarily, I guess, hand lettering but it is part of the Simply Lettering um, magazine. So I thought I wanted to do it and here we go. So this is what I'm gonna be working on. It shows um, the use of the Tombow dual tip brush pens and I really wanted to do this project because yes, these pens are great for hand lettering. Like they are nice and like flexible and they bend. Um, so they're great for hand lettering, but I never knew that I could just, you know, spray them with water and create like a watercolor effect, which I thought was really cool that they showed this in the project. So I wanted to be able to create this and we're going to create a tag as well because that's what they then did here. Um, and they created a tag, which I thought was like, wow, yes. They don't have like a tag thing here. I think they used, I don't know, maybe a stamp, maybe they hand wrote it. I mean, maybe we could write, hand write something and it just says it's your day or especially for you. But I wanted to create this, so let's get started into my video. I'm gonna put this aside. I don't wanna get it like sprayed with water, which is what we're gonna be doing eventually. So I'm just gonna like have it propped up here. I can show you guys it again afterwards, but I will walk you through of what the instructions tell me to do. So I got my watercolor paper here. You know what, let me put this on a black background so you guys could see it better. All right, so I got my watercolor paper. I just cut off a little piece from my pack. Um, I will have a link down below to the paper that I'm using. On the back, I had just watercolored something here before, but I'm never actually gonna use it. So we're just gonna color on the other side and do this project. So it says to cut an A4 sheet of watercolor paper in half, producing two A5 sheets. Mine's just whatever. Scribble a three centimeter band of red ink, red ink across the top area. So I'm just kind of gonna scribble separating all of these colors. And it says to use um, the brush end of the colored pens, which is what I'm gonna be using. So we're just gonna scribble. That is not red. I thought that was gonna be red. Okay, so scribbling what I thought was red. Now we have some orange. Don't worry about the blending part of this. That will come together later, or it's supposed to. Here we got yellow. Okay, we have some green. and blue. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Okay, now what it says to do is spray this um, with water. So it says spray the rainbow of colors a few times using a water spritzer to blend the inks. Okay. Is that a few times? And then it actually says to use a heat tool to dry the ink. So I got my heating tool right here. And I don't know, that's not really blending to me. I mean, it's blending a little bit. When do I heat it? Are you guys see my paper curling? Oh, if you spray it closer. Oh, look at that. Okay, that looks like a good job of um, 
spritzing. So we're gonna use a heat tool now. Right, guys so this is what I have now this actually looks really cool I didn't know I could do watercolor um, with my Tombow pens I'm just gonna move that off because that was a little covered in ink um, you guys could see it doesn't like leak through to the other side these pieces kind of just like rolled off my paper you guys could see here and it is a little bit messy so I will give you that warning um, but watercolor in general is pretty messy so let me just clean up the space i really like the magazine because it kind of also shows you different uses for your hand lettering tools like obviously people get the tombow markers for hand lettering but this is a tool where you could also kind of use it for watercolor which is really cool so i'm enjoying like um you know learning new things with this magazine it's great Okay, so I have this now. I'm gonna grab my Sizzix die cutting machine because we're actually gonna cut out some of this and make a tag. So I'm going to be using this die set right here. Um, it's from AliExpress from the KLJUYP Lover Store. And these are very intricate dies, but I'm gonna use this small piece and we're probably gonna get a few dies out of this project. So actually I might cut out a circle on one of them too, so we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna use one of those frames. So I'm actually going to use a few different dies. I'm going to use the tag die, this smaller circle die, and this bigger one. This, um, these colors in this like paper that we had created just kind of remind me of a birthday. So anything that will say happy birthday, make a wish, it's your day, kind of like that, that I could decorate later on also in projects, I want to create that. Okay, so I got my watercolor paper here, and I'm just going to arrange my dies. This one, I really want something... Ooh, that's pretty to hit all three colors. Um, so maybe we'll do this one like right here. You just gotta be careful of like where your um, things are arranged. This one, I think I like that one. And then this one we're gonna do. Okay, I think that's how I want my patterns. And we're gonna see how this turns out. So I got putting my top layer on, and we're just gonna run this through my Sizzix. Okay, and let's see what we got here. Let's see, I got my Spellbinders tool here. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty circle. And I could turn this however way, so it doesn't have to actually line up, and that looks really cool. Okay, let's see this one. We got this inside circle piece. Very pretty. And then let's see my other one. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. Wow, guys, these are gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is a nice intricate die. Um, but for this, we're gonna use this side and we gotta roll out like the little pieces. So I'm gonna put all of these aside. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this because I could still do something with these outside edges. I could still, you know, make a little something. So I'm going through the process of this and making, you know, my space very messy and I'm doing the coloring and stuff. Why not use the extra paper as well? Okay, so I just have my flag right here. I'm going to flip it over not to ruin any of the paper, which I don't think it will, but just in case. And then this is supposed to help get out some of those little pieces. You guys could see some of them coming off. Um, we might have to do a little bit this way. Okay, and then I have some more little holes here. And this tool is great because it's one side with this rolly thing and the other side with a point. So I'm just going to poke through all of these and it's just so easy to get rid of all of those other pieces. They're like cut out, they just wanna be stubborn. Okay, and that's it. We have my nice little tag here. This is also gonna be great for like layering embellishments and stuff, like it's so pretty guys, I love it. So here is the other one. I could either just like have it separate pieces, I could put them kind of like back together like this, where they fit with each other. 
Um, or I could even like prop one of these up on some foam and create like a dimensional look. I don't know. There's so many options with these. And then the last one, this one kind of looks like a sun, kind of sunset thing, but also super bright and fun. Um, so I could either go do something like this and arrange the outside piece back together, or I could just turn it and, you know, create like a different kind of look and effect. I really like it. I was actually going to stamp these, but I don't know when I want to use these. So I thought I would just like create the project from the thing of like showing you guys how to use the Tombow dual brush pens and not just for lettering because I really do like how these turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to hold on to these and whenever I'm ready to use them in a project, I will. And then I could stamp a sentiment on it or however I want to layer them. But these are so fun. I'm going to have to do this more often because they absolutely are gorgeous. Like I love them. Let me know what you guys think of this project from the Simply Lettering magazine. I got to say, I think I did a pretty good job in recreating this watercolor effect and blending the colors just like they had done here. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Um, let me know how you guys think I did as well. So I will have a link down below for the Simply Lettering magazine as well as any of the dies um, that I used here today, including like this little flag thing, the circle stitch dies and everything. So I'll have a link down below in case you guys wanted to be able to do this and wanted anything I showed in this video. But let me know how you guys think I did and I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully my voice will be back to normal next time I see you guys. So take care because I care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.